Hi YouTube, this is Amy, the Witch of Love and Light, and I'm coming today with an oracle reading from the Oracle of Light and Dreams by Scott Howden. I believe he is the artist as well, and the artwork is absolutely breathtaking. So, kudos to Scott Howden. We are going to pick a card, which I shuffled already prior to the video starting, and today's card is Dragon's Lair. And this, let me see if I can get it centered. You can see the dragon up here and the baby dragon and this beautiful little, I don't know what she is, girl, fairy, I don't know, but this person who looks like she has a dragon at her back and obviously one in front. She has a suit of armor on or at least part of it. All right, here we go. We are going to read from the book and it says, don't judge a book by its cover. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. The key words are short-sighted, judgment, open-minded, and interaction. Contrary to their frightful appearance, as well as the perception created by tales such as the one in which a damsel in distress is saved from the ferocious and deadly dragon by a valorous knight, the little heroine in this scene knows dragons to be elusive, wise, gentle giants. Having rescued the dragonling from a band of unscrupulous bounty hunters, she reunites mother and child in the true act of courage and compassion. The expression, don't judge a book by its cover, also applies to people. Outward appearance alone cannot be an accurate indicator of the character or personality of another person. If we rely on this short-sighted approach, we may be depriving ourselves of valuable interactions and friendships. So true. And a quote from Malcolm Gladwell says, It would be interesting to find out what goes on in the moment when someone looks at you and draws all sorts of conclusions. Is that not the truth? Um, we are all guilty of this. We are all guilty of seeing someone and automatically judging them, whether it's by their appearance, the clothes they're wearing, what they're doing. I am guilty of this. I don't like to admit that, but it is true. And I try when I find myself doing this to stop, pause, and rethink my evaluations. Because I know when people first meet me, they may have a, a different opinion based on my appearance, based on my looks, based on what I'm doing or how I am, like how I interact with people because I am not one to go out, even though I have a YouTube channel, doesn't mean that I'm an extrovert. I'm not, I'm quite the introvert. I like my quietness. I like my solitude. I don't generally approach people and I'm usually pretty quiet. I like to observe what's going on. I take in my surroundings and that's just me. And I pass that on to my son, Dion. He, um, he's one of those observers as well. I, I like to take in the, take in the scene, form my opinions, and then, you know, they may be right or they may be wrong, but I'm willing to say that I'm wrong if I draw the wrong conclusion. So never judge a book by its cover. You never know who that person really is until you truly get to know them. You know, there are often times when I go out and I look a mess, like my hair's not brushed real well. My hair gets frizzy so easily. So sometimes, even though I did my hair that day, it looks awful by the, t by the middle of the day in my opinion, and I'm sure it looks fine to other people, but you know how you're hard on yourself. But, you know, I may go out looking like a mess. I may go out in, I don't know, sweatpants and a shirt covered with paint because I'm painting at home and I ran out of something, so I have to go run out to the store. And yeah, I look like a bum, but you know what? I'm also a hard worker. I'm also doing things to try and improve my life and my house and whatever. So, yeah, I, I might look like a bum. Yeah, someone might have dirt under their fingernails. It doesn't mean they're dirty. It means that maybe they're gardening or they're a hard worker or whatever. I usually, and I didn't even check, because I've been gardening today, I didn't even check. I usually have dirt under my nails, and I try to get it out, but oftentimes it gets embedded pretty, pretty deep. Um, but anyway... 
I'm rambling again, as usual. This suggests that this little meek looking girl, even though she is in a soldier's uniform, um, or a warrior's armor, whichever way you want to say it, she saved this little dragon. And even though she looks meek and she looks um, little, she obviously is powerful and strong and I don't know, maybe very wise. Maybe she got this dragon back because she was cunning or clever or whatever the word is that I'm looking for. But she doesn't look like she'd be able to fight, but obviously she can. So instead of drawing conclusions about people you see, Give them a chance to let their spirit shine because you never know. You might end up being really good friends. And I have a very good story. My best friend, Adela, when she first saw me, she made all kinds of <laughs> judgments about me and didn't really care for me. And 20 some years later, we are still best friends. So, you know, she looked past her initial thoughts and... I am grateful for that. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you like my content. I would like you to interact with me in the comment section. Give me some suggestions. Tell me what you think. Be honest. Criticize if you like, as long as it's constructive. Don't be rude, please. Hit the like button. Let me know that you like my content. Let YouTube know that you like my content. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my content. And I greatly appreciate you and I hope you guys have a fabulous day.